So, who thinks they know what the biggest planet in the solar system is? Who thinks they know? You know. It is Jupiter. And so if this were the sun, Jupiter would be this big. This big. So we're going to put Jupiter right there. What's the next biggest planet in the solar system? What? Who knows the next biggest planet? No. I heard it. Saturn. All right? Saturn is almost as big as Jupiter, but what's different between Saturn and Jupiter? What? Saturn has rings. Of course it does. So, I have spent, spared no expense to make you an exquisitely detailed model of Saturn with its rings. Here it is. Right? Is this nice or what? Alright? There, hmm? This is Saturn and its rings. Uh, they're not having a good day in the, in the moisture here. But we'll put Saturn up here next to Jupiter. Saturn and Jupiter are what we call gas giant planets. Do you know what a gas giant is? What do you think a gas giant is? They're full of gas, of course. Saturn and Jupiter, interestingly, have almost exactly the same composition as the sun. If some smart aleck astronomer comes up to you and says, what's the universe made of? Your answer should be hydrogen. Hydrogen is 90% of the universe. Helium is most of what's left over. And the stuff that we're made of, like the iron and the carbon and stuff, we're down in the noise. We're just little itty bitty bits. Most of the uh, most of the universe is hydrogen and helium, and that's what the gas giants are made of. They're made of of hydrogen and helium. Now, how come then, if that's a gas, why do we see Jupiter and Saturn as big balls in space? What do you think is what are we seeing when we look at Jupiter and Saturn? We're looking at atmospheres, and in specific, we're looking at the clouds in their atmospheres. I'm going to teach you a deep, dark secret about planets. Whatever makes the clouds in a planet's atmosphere is not the main gas in that atmosphere. So, for example, George, what's the main gas in the atmosphere of the Earth? Oh, is this a, nitrogen is right. And what's the second biggest gas? Holly. Oxygen, all right? Hot. Nitrogen and oxygen are like 95% of the gas in Earth's atmosphere. We have a little bit of water vapor, a little bit of carbon dioxide, although that's increasing all the time. And so do we have clouds made of nitrogen? Do we have clouds made of oxygen? What are clouds made of? Water. So if you think about it, water, which is a trace gas, just a little bit of the atmosphere of the Earth is actually what makes our clouds. And on Jupiter and Saturn, what makes the clouds that we see, the cloud deck on Jupiter and Saturn is not hydrogen, is not helium, but it's actually ammonia. Now, ammonia is just a little bit of the gas in those atmospheres, but at those temperatures, which is very cold, it condenses into white clouds. And so, have you ever seen a cloud? Yes, of course. Have anybody ever flown into a cloud in an airplane? Yes. Sure. And if you could get up and reach up into the sky and stick your hand into a cloud, what would happen? Well, what would happen to your hand? Would it hit a hard surface? No. It would dive right into a cloud, right? So this is like what Jupiter and Saturn are. They're like cotton. Right? And if I go and try to stick my finger into Jupiter and Saturn, it would go right in. So if you fell into Jupiter and Saturn, you would just keep falling and falling and falling and falling. You would fall for thousands of miles through nothing but atmosphere. It would get gradually denser and hotter and denser harder and hotter. And you would eventually die, but you would keep falling even though you were dead. Oh. <laughs> and eventually you would hit something deep inside, deep, deep, deep inside Jupiter and Saturn, its core. Wow. All right? Now, we don't know what the core of Jupiter and Saturn is like. 
There's a spacecraft on its way to Jupiter right now called Juno. Juno, which is going to go into orbit around Jupiter and try to determine for scientists what is inside the planet. As they Juno will go into orbit and they'll track its motion and we'll be able to tell what the gravity is like inside of Jupiter. And maybe just maybe we'll be able to tell what's inside of Jupiter. So Jupiter and Saturn. It's on its way now. It should get there, I'm going to say, within two years. Not too long. All right, so we've got